Yes, Hugo. Yes, there are. But first, I gotta do my introduction. Hey there, all you handsome bastards and classy ladies, and welcome back to some more of a Plague Tale Innocence. We're, um. We're in a bit of a crap situation, to be honest with you. Father Brother Monk has been absolutely devoured by a bunch of plague rats. I'm assuming Brother Morel, his buddy, his last remaining buddy, was also devoured. The light! They're scared of the light! Jeez, that's a lot of rats. That's a lot of rats. And is, it, is there more pouring? Yep, they're just being vomited into the face. Alright then. That is delightful. It's a we have to get back outside, Amicia! I know! Keep moving! It's a good thing they have all these holes in the wall. So these must have been. A monk. The other brother. Oh, jeez. Either the rats did that to him. They're going to have to climb up. I'll have to put the torch down. No, or we also have zombies. Calm down. There's a torch holder. We'll still have light. But then what? We'll find something. Oh jeez. Oh fuck me. Alright. Up and at him. Anything is an improvement on being in that room with the rats. Oh, do we have another one? No. No we don't. Why there are so many of them? Fire! We need some fire! Oh. The wood will burn quickly. We have to hurry! Sticks only burn for a few moments before no, they go out. Go away! Calm down, Hugo. The light will protect us, alright? Alright. Alright, there you go. We serve the red god. Rats. The priest spoke of a way out through the crypt. Phew! If only those were red priests back there, like Father Morel and him, they'd have been Amicia, fine. The three statues! The crypt of the three saints! It's the exit the father spoke of! We have to find another way! Alright, hang on, we're gonna grab ourselves some sulfur. Uh, why the hell were these monks hanging out here if all of these rats were here too? Okay, so the rats absolutely hate the fire. That is good. Go on, climb up. Right. I'm over here. Jeez, I had a feeling though, because he was talking about in the last video about staying in the light and everything like that. So I was like, "Don't move, I'll be right back." Uh, yes. I oh, there's another monk. So I'd figured okay, we were at the yeah. point. I should be able to knock it down. Ah, beautiful. Boom! Take that, you little broden bastards! We can't do anything for them now. It's oh jeez! I know. Come on. It's all right. You can come. All right. Also, you're definitely linked to these rats in some shape or form. So if you're some sort of plague whisperer, if you could just talk to them and tell them to be cool, tell them that we're friends, tell them we can feed them all of the monks that they want. But. They just gotta leave us be, that's the one requirement. Ah, oh, he got caught early, the poor guy. Climb up. Alright. So these are the crafty little critter bastards that killed Leon as well in the first episode. Which really makes me hate them. If there's ever a chance to kill these rats. I know right now all we can really do is avoid them, but if killing them ever becomes an option, I will do that in a heartbeat because I got a doggo to avenge. He was the best doggo in the entire Darun estate. And also, granted, he was the only doggo in the entire Darun estate, but that's neither here nor there. Right, we'll pass at the same time. Ah, oh, crap. Also, like, <laughs> that's not how gravity and momentum works. Eventually, by the time we get down there, I'll go that thing should stop. Mm -hmm. It should stop swinging. And then we're dead. Okay, so we gotta wait for it to swing back. Beautiful. They're making gonna... too much noise. Too much noise. Hugo, calm down. He's not wrong though, they're bloody loud. I got my headset on and I have it up nice and loud and <laughs> it's just that unsettling kind of like screeching, you know? You don't want it. Okay, we got some tools. Uh, yeah, there's no reason to not take a look at what we can do here. So, 
Okay, we're low on ingredients for that, our materials, and for that. So we can upgrade our pocket, so you can hold up to 12 materials of each type. Emesia doubles the thickness of our materials, pocket making it more robust. That is handy. John, before we commit to that, I might just take a peek. But then I'm worried if I go in here, would it trigger a cutscene? I don't think it would. No rats. Oh, what okay, are we on. going to do? Hang on. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> I like her sudden shift in tone. <laughs> She's like, oh god, we're going to die. But let me just go and uh, increase my pants pockets here. So they're nice and thick and durable. Okay, it's a good thing the plague rats the attacked rats, during dinner time. They eat meat, don't they? Uh, it might work. I want to get my hands on these things. So, salt, Peter. Okay, so we knocked down the meat bags. Because we have no more, we have no more monks to sacrifice, so... That, that seems to keep them busy. Another hand should be enough. Come on. Okay. It's a good thing they're not too keen about fresh meat. Oh! Oh god, I, I don't know if that's, like, a limited... time that they'll spend eating that. She really needs to be a bit more urgent about how she about how she gets him over as well. Like I mean, when the rats are there, it's okay to just pick him up. The way out. It's okay to just pick him up and throw him. You know, you don't have to be gentle. Just throw the little guy. He'll be fine. Kids are durable these days. All right, let's be careful. Well, they were a lot more durable back then, anyway. Uh, God, I don't like how they kind of just whip out it yet. It's unsettling. <laughs> Alcohol for a little Dutch courage. We'll be safe if we go that way. Okay, I'm gonna try and move slowly because I'm wondering if stealth matters on the rats. Don't fall. Don't fall. We won't fall. Hold my hand tight. Alright, we got rocks, so we need to find There's definitely something around here that we can sm aha, something shiny. Has caught my eye. Candles? No, me. And sulfur. Um. Okay, cool. So they're gobbling away on that. Is that something we can hit? I don't think it is. And if we hop into the darkness, those rats will definitely come raging at us. Uh. But I say definitely, but I wonder, is it distant enough that they won't know? That torch! There's a hole in the grating! There is a hole in the grating. Uh, do we send him in? Oh, I'm gonna risk it, and this is probably gonna be very stupid. I'll lift this up. Can you get the torch? Yes. Mm. Oh, this is beyond stupid. This is a bad, bad, bad uh, idea. It's heavy. Hugo, hurry up. Come also, on. rats have ears, so don't mm. just start shouting. Mm. Oh, no. uh, are you alright? Yes. Stay where you are. The ground is rotten. Misha, how? How am I going to get back? We'll find a way, don't worry. As long as you have the torch, you'll be safe. But what about you? We'll uh, move together. That way, the light coming through the grating will protect me too. Ready? Ready. Here we go then, slowly. Also, don't look behind you, kid, because there's an eviscerated corpse. <laughs> you just, you don't want to see that. Especially because, oh. Look, there's a hole. Do you want the torch? Yes, there are too many rats on my side. But where can I get through? The hole behind you. That's the only way I can see. Go through there and I'll meet you on the other side. Are you sure? Just stop if you see rats. I'll be with you very quickly. Alright, but please hurry. Kid goes through vent, immediately killed by rats. <laughs> that's... That's how this would go in real life. 
end up there. Oh, you died the way you lived, sir. In agonizing pain. Alright, there we go. Quick now. No. Come on. We're gone silent, are we? Oh, jeez. Uh, smack that. That did no good. It just made a lot of noise. <laughs> All right, so we can get a stick here. All right, there's some items in there, so we'll get this burning. We'll start by scaring away these guys. Go on, shoot, shoot. Out of my sight. Oh, it's the shitter. It's the latrine. The crapper. The turd receptacles. The turd buckets. Jeez, just got out of that one on time. Okay. Oh, so we can light the brazers on the floor. And there's a big one over there, which I can't hit from this angle. But I'm guessing if I set this on fire... Scare away the rats, like the big intimidating human being that I am. And light that on fire. There we go. Hugo, are you alright? There were rats. I ran to the light. Did they bite you? No, I found a ladder, but there are rats down there. I'll open a way through for you. We're going to get you down from there. Also, I did notice the rats. Calm down, Amicia. <laughs> He's fine, you're fine. Stay focused. He's fine, you're fine, stay fine. Uh, so there's another brazier over there that I wouldn't mind just running to and lighting it if the stick will hold These long enough. Burn too quickly. I won't be able to keep them back long enough. Please, I have something for you. Oh, I like gifts, I like shiny trinkets and things. Perfect, oh. thank you. Good man. I'm gonna knock this one down too. And then I'm gonna hop into bed and have a nap. Because after everything that's happened today, Amici has earned herself a nice little nap. Okay. So. Okay. Let's just have a think on this for a second. So we need to get over to that brazier. But we have no twigs nearby, I don't think, do we? And we can get to that one, but I don't know... I don't think the twigs would, like, hold long enough for that to work. So we have ourselves a conundrum. Rocks. I wonder, what I'm gonna do first? Let me get this. That room over there hits me as, like, an optional room. Snake our way in here. Hugo, I have to get him down here. Can I throw this stick at them? Oh no, I can just out it. And we'll light a fresh one. It's a shame she can't, for some reason, pick up more than one stick. You know, she's got two fully functioning hands, but she doesn't seem to want to use them. Oh, hang on, what am I doing? I don't have to light the stick here, I can pick it up here, run all the way up here, then light the stick here, and then chase him away. My god. <laughs> what a revelation. That was not even a hard puzzle and I struggled with it so bad. Ready, you can there come we go. Down now. Let there be light. Amicia is Azura High Reborn. Which is something that they just never really bothered. I shouldn't have left you alone. It's too risky. That's alright. Now I feel like there might be some little extra bits. Yep. Oh, weird plague nest. So apparently these are rats mixed with the uh, creatures from Go Alien. On. Climb up. Of course. That'd be a horrible fusion, actually. The Xenomorph cross with plague rats. Cross with magic. Ugh. I know the 
destroy a tablet from the Crusades. Ah, it has been a century since the last great crusade and the church faces new perils. Disease, famine, war. Calamities push humanity towards faith. This need for spirituality combined with the many human losses forced the clergy to train many priests in haste. But some of the people will nevertheless seek answers in paganism, superstition and dissenting orders. Incense and herbs. Alchemists know it and the people are beginning to suspect it. Evil does not exist only in the bodies of infected people. It also travels around them. People start blaming the air, the stench of which indicates the presence of miasmas and therefore of disease. So to ward off the great evil, the air of contaminated places is purified by burning herbs at the risk of burning down the whole neighborhood. Nice. Well, fire, fire will get rid of it all. Like Fire is a great purger. Handwoven dollies are often decorated with lace and are used primarily to protect tables uh, from hot dishes. This doily is adorned with the family coat of arms, a traditional pattern for young, well-bred girls when they learn to crochet. Nice. Some looks like we might have missed a few collectibles here along the way. Okay. Come up here. We're away from the rats. Thankfully, these rats can't climb ladders. They also super hate monks. These are atheist rats, I'm guessing. Okay, so he needed to come down from here. I actually don't think we need to be up here as such. I think we just needed to go through this all of way. that to get him come done on. to us. Right. Oh, and then we need to go back to that door down there, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh... So yeah, we need a fresh, a fresh flaming stick. You know, it doesn't help where like the stick is on a limited timer, and then she decides that there's absolutely no rush that she can just take a nice, slow, relaxing stroll through the place, and there's nothing to be worried about. You know, I if there's no timer, if she's under no time pressure, Amicia will just, you know. She'll take her time. It's fine. Oh no, if there's no time pressure, she'll rush through it. Sorry. If there is time pressure, then then she decides to take it easy. Do those rats just evaporate? <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm glad they're gone, but still. The crypt. Oh, thank you. We can get out of here now. Yes. Far, far away. Alright, we got ourselves some cords. Yep, okay, that's it. We'll get ourselves crafted up. Uh, pouch. Reduces the time required to achieve maximum accuracy. Yes, I like this. Ammunition bag. Oh, these are both genuinely useful things. I I'm going to go for the pouch for now, just because <laughs> they, seem to have, they seem to have introduced like, combat against humans into the game with Conrad Come and on, his buddy. Come on, I'll help you. Uh -huh. So, I figured that wouldn't hurt. But then oh. ammo capacity is important. What's that on the ground? Should we go anyway? Yes, we've managed to get this far. We'll be fine. Just stay close. Alright then. Into the crypts we go. 